Uh, we've also got some fans uh, from the BOTB uh, Facebook page uh, that we put out some opportunities for them to ask Will uh, a question. Uh, Neil Jones wants to know, uh, did you pass your driving test the first time and what was your first car? I did pass my driving test the first time uh, because like most blokes, I was desperate to be able to set myself free. Uh, I was brought up in Essex in the countryside and the idea of having a car and being able to get out and do stuff was pretty appealing. So I tried really hard to do that. My first car was golf. Um, Something that a few people have asked us actually is, will you ever give away bikes? A possible one, effectively. Uh, it's, I think it's a slightly smaller market. We try to keep what we're doing fairly pure. We're known for the cars, we yeah. try to stick to the cars. But I think there is an argument to uh, try at some point, possibly, some of the high-end, sort of MB Augusta, uh, top-end Ducati type thing. So it's something we're considering getting feedback on, and it's great to have the question asked. On another note, really, in terms of giveaways, would you ever do more than one car a week? A week works quite well from a cycling point of view, in terms of the ability to find the winner, do the surprise, and stop, stop the process again. But I think it would be great. I mean, as far as we're concerned, the more people we can make happy and give cars to, the better. So, you know, that's the whole reason we're here, so. Well, it kind of leads on to the question from um, Jamie Simmons, who's sort of suggesting, are there any sort of major changes in the pipeline? Not majorly, no. I mean, I think, if anything, our, our, our plan is to, you know, keep it quite simple. I and mean, we're not trying to make a complicated concept here. We're trying to do something that's just really fun and allows people, for not much money, the chance to win an amazing car every week and to, you know, have that, that fun and that sense of uh, excitement. Well, we had stacks of questions. So Jamie also asked about the whole Monday, Tuesday surprise process, actually, yeah, and yeah. how it happens. So maybe talk us through the process from sure. when the competition closes, you start judging and all. Yeah. Um, well, the first bit's quite slick in the fact that the, uh, um, we obviously have all the judges come in, the lawyers come in, and that process happens. Effectively, uh, all the data gets given to our auditors, and we then get told who the winner is. Um, at that point, it's less slick because um, it's a bit of a chaotic time trying to effectively locate where that winner is, who they are. Obviously, wherever possible, we try and make it a complete surprise. Uh, so in order to do that, the first thing we'll probably do is get the winner's um, account up. Some people fill in very kindly that the field we have there now, which is call this person in case I win. That makes life a lot easier, so please do that as much as you can. Um, unfortunately, a lot of people don't do that. Uh, so then typically we jump on Facebook, LinkedIn, all those sort of social profiles to see if we can locate this person to build a picture of where they are, who they are, where they might be working. Uh, if, for example, they're working in a company, we might try and ring the company and you know find a colleague, and we'll go through all those channels to try and find a family member, work all that out. This is, of course, all you know happening on Monday morning slash lunchtime at this stage. Once we work through that, we then have to try and get a car, the right car to the right place um, in the right, usually in the UK, but sometimes further afield. Uh, that's also a bit of a mission. Yeah. Uh, we've got sort of quite a few contacts with dealers, but it's all very last minute to try and say, can we have it there tomorrow morning? Um, and then we book transport, book press, and get up there and hopefully pull it off. And I'm pleased to say that probably 95% of the time we do achieve that. But just occasionally it's either impossible or the people are away on holiday or whatever, and you can't do it. But um, yeah, it's great fun. Uh, when it all comes together, it's, uh, it's great fun. It's yeah. good. Lewis Jameson, he wonders why you don't own an Audi RS6, because I suppose every time an RS6 crops up, whether it's a winner's giveaway sure. or something, it's like you, it seems to be the ultimate love of you, for yeah, you. Yeah, no, I, I would not, I confess I'm saving up. Uh, so maybe one day is the answer. Uh, I did actually have an RS4 years ago, uh, which I loved and just thought was a great, sort of practical bit of kit. Very fast, but you can still chuck everything in it. Um, and sort of no one really knew that it was that fast until you hit the accelerator. Yeah. Uh, so maybe one day, Lewis, is it Lewis? Yeah, yeah, yeah um, hopefully. Right. Fingers crossed. Lee Peverett, has, who's the youngest ever winner? I think it's a guy called Safe Arizingbag, I think it's called, uh, who won an 845 AMG up in Bradford, I think it was. Mm -hmm. He was a student, probably only about sort of 19 or 20. Mrs. Thumberton has the hots for you. Uh, wow. Yeah, amazing. Um, so she was wondering, A, if you're available, um, and if so, so the first part has to be answered, so are you available, then if so, can you make it to the Gala Bingo in Bognor Regis for next Friday? I assume this is because she's blind and she needs someone to lead her there. Because <laughs> <laughs> that could be the only reason I imagine. So uh, Anthony Borovich, he wants to know what's the worst incident you've had with a winner um, after the confetti cannon explosions? I mean, they must be quite risky. I'm sure there must have been an incident, perhaps, um, where it hasn't kind of gone quite to plan. I think one of the, the most difficult ones was actually, it wasn't actually the winner's surprise. It was dropping off a winner's car quite a few years ago now. 
and uh, I forget the guy's name, he'd won a Lamborghini Gallardo as it was called then, and it came off the low loader, he was very excited about his new car coming, etc. Opened the door and a truck came past and took the door off. Uh, so that wasn't ideal, and the car just went back on the low loader and back to the garage to be fixed. So uh, that was the, the, the less good one. Right, also we've got, um, we just wanted to finish off with a, a quick fire round of questions. Sure. Scramble those. I've got lots of eyes to Breaking Bad. Chelsea. Uh, ooh, both. I vacillate on that quite a lot. I'm currently marginally out, but slightly undecided. Jensen, I think, probably. Uh, it's quite hard to tell you because I haven't seen the Evans one yet. Um, I think they'll do a good job with Evans. I really enjoyed the class one. I think some of it got a bit silly, but some yeah. of it was great. Um, I like Harris Monkey, uh, roast chicken, jacket potato, and salad with bread sauce. Hamas. He's just consistently quicker than Rosberg, I think. Well, I asked about the salt out and teased a lot in the office, but the grey coat is there's nothing wrong with it. So I can't see the reasons by anyone, personally. I would definitely have, although it's just the most ridiculously expensive car ever, I would have a Singer Porsche 911, which is, so they take the classic 1970s 911. And actually, I'd, I'd happily have just a normal 1970s yeah. 911. And in fact, there were just a ton of illustration pictures in a minute, Goodwood, of these beautiful cars. But Singer, uh, based in California, for these amazing uh, restorations. Yeah. And they're just incredible. So I'd probably have one of those. Yeah. Just want to say thanks, uh, obviously, for Will, for your time today. Pleasure. Great Thank to you. be able to have a chat about some of the favourite things that our readers have sent in. Great. And uh, thanks everyone for sending the questions. Very much appreciated. And I uh, look forward to seeing someone out on the road soon. And uh, thanks, Nate, for coming in. Cool. I might get the handshake. Yeah, you get the handshake. <laughs> yeah, it's out of the house. Yeah, you go. Bye bye. <laughs>